Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm here with Rachel. Hi. And we are going to be showing you all of the newbies that were released last Friday, which was a lot. And there's some really great things here. So we wanted to go over how to use them and all of the great things. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we will get started. All right, here we go. I also put on my do not disturb so that we would not have any issues. All right, there we go. So to introduce our newbies, we have Moonlight, which technically Moonlight broke our website. It really did. Uh, this sold out faster than we could have imagined. And it is extremely uh, beautiful. And we're going to show this to you, but can you even see just the shimmer? It's stunning. So when you put this on as a chrome, it is fantastic. This is a mirror chrome. Mm -hmm. So good. Then we have Starshine. And this is a mirror flake. It is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the brand new Blooming Lovely, which is our blooming gel. We're going to show you a quick design using that. This is a lot of fun to just have a play with. Um, you can do fun snake skin designs. You can do cool flower designs. You can do cool marble really, really fast with this. Blooming gel is awesome. Uh, just for those wondering, this is not HEMA free. So if your client has a HEMA allergy, then you might not choose to use this, or you might choose to use it far away from their skin, mm -hmm. um, maybe in the center of the nail. So this is not HEMA free. Then we have all of the wonderful gorgeous, beautiful pigments. And we will show you all of these colors up close and personal as soon as we get to this part of our lives. So we are going to get started. We have prepped some swatches so that we could get started. And what should we start with? Chrome? Sure. All right. Let's see us first. Absolutely. Um, first thing, uh, Amber Heaps is wondering when will we get a restock? We will be getting a restock by the end of this week. If you go onto the website, it's important to go onto the website. That's where you can sign up for restock notifications. So you go onto the website, find the Moonlight Chrome, and then just put your email in for restock notifications. As soon as we get our shipment in and that gets put onto the website, you'll be sent an email and notified that that is now back in stock. Mm -hmm. But we did order triple what we ordered the first time. So hopefully there will be plenty for everybody to get one. So... I'm going to start with the one that Mrs. Magpie was wearing in the video that she posted. And this is, give me strength and get a grip nudie, nudie, such a good combo. So I did a structure layer of get a grip nudie. And then I went in with a thinner layer of give me strength nudie, gave both of those a full cure. Now I'm going to go in with top it off clear. This is our No Wipe 60 Second Cure Top Coat. And you do need a No Wipe Top Coat for when you're doing Chrome. So we're going to go over all of the rules for Chrome in this video. Kind of as a refresher. Or if you are somebody who has never tried Chrome, then... Thank you. Then this will be a learning opportunity. So I put my layer of top it off and I'm just putting a thin layer. You don't have to um, go crazy with that. And I'm just going to let that settle for five to 10 seconds. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles. So if you have an air bubble, I don't know if you can see, oh, there, now you can. If you have an air bubble in your top coat, you want to swipe that off or pop it or do whatever. Or if you happen to get lint, from your old bottle of Top It Off, you wanna get that off. So the reason is because we're gonna be rubbing chrome into this layer. So if this layer has imperfections, then they will absolutely they will, show up. They absolutely. will be magnified. Yes, when you put chrome on. Now, I'm trying not to take make this take too long. And I was using an empty bottle of top it off. So Rachel was so kind and got me a fresh bottle. So I'm actually going to <clears throat> just quickly swipe off all of my air bubbles. I got my lint from my previous bottle. Okay. So if you were on a human, you would make sure that this was perfected because I'm on a nail pop and I am going to move on. 
And I'm we're gonna, doing that over plain Jane as well so you can see the difference Perfect. with the chrome. So we're gonna put this in for a full 60 second cure. And when you are putting your client in the lamp, you want to make sure that your client's fingers are in the lamp by the lights. So we don't want, we don't want to be half in the lamp, right? So if we're doing four and the lights are like this, you don't want to barely put your fingers in. You want to put your whole hand in the lamp every time. Mm -hmm. For thumbs, if you have, if you look at your lamp and the lights are like this, then you need to instruct your client to go to one side or the other because you need a full proper cure on your no light top coat. That's imperative. Mm -hmm. Once we get that, we will take it out of the lamp and apply moonlight. Now, really quickly, I do want to show you this gorgeousness. Uh, so moonlight, you get one gram, which is going to be about this much in a four gram bottle. This is a four gram bottle, so it's not gonna come to you full, but I promise this moonlight is going to last you a very, very long time. But I do want to pick this up so that you can see how gorgeous it is. You can totally see the reflection and how silvery that is. Oh, come on. So pretty. Oh, come on. That's so pretty. It really is so good. And even on, so now that I've rubbed it into my silicone, you can see that it is Ooh. a mirror. Ooh. It's so fantastic. That's cute. So gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Ooh, we're almost there. All right, so I'm gonna get out my, I'm gonna use a chrome tool. Rachel uses her finger, I believe. Yep. And I'm going to just put just a little bit, and actually this is way too much. Way, way, way too much. So I can, knock, I can knock some off, and now I have a, an appropriate amount for this nail pop. So I'm just going to I'm not holding it here. I don't want firm grip. I want light grip. So I'm up here and I'm just gently rubbing, putting this beautiful chrome and you can already see how glorious mm, it is. That's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. And although this chrome is clearly meant to be used as chrome, you can use it as a dust. And just like tap it in. Mm. That is so, pretty. so pretty. So, so pretty. Now I can see my reflection. I don't know if you can see me, but like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> see? It's absolutely gorgeous. So it's so fantastic. This chrome is absolutely beautiful. It is a full mirror chrome. Um, Tammy is asking, is it a white chrome? No, it is a silvery chrome. It's like, well, it's kind of both. It's kind of both. Brighty huh? is a is like a white chrome and this is the like more silvery version but it's not diane diana yeah it's not diana, diana. Mm -hmm. it's it's not like a solid silver it's just that like mirrory kind of sheer silver yes so i was started to put on give me strength and i forgot a major rule and i forgot that we were going through all of the rules with anybody who is new to chrome so what you would do is you would wipe on that chrome gently then you would brush it off gently with the soft duster brush. And then you would go through and just give a quick buff to the free edge and then remove any of that dust. So I have to be very careful since I already have gel on there. Now, the reason that we do that is because we're going to cap this free edge and we are sandwiching a powder between two gels. And we're especially sandwiching it between a sticky gel and a gel that does not have a sticky layer. So we have to give something for that free edge to grip to. So now I'm going in just with a layer of Give Me Strength Clear and I'm just going to very gently, I put on a lot and now I'm just going to drag it down. The reason why I put on a lot is because you don't want to dry brush. You don't want to like scratch through the chrome powder and then we're going to just make sure to cap that free edge. Okay. So now I would give this a full 60 second cure. And then you could go in with your um, top it off and then you'd be done. Glorious chrome, like, hi, you can still see my reflection. Okay, so in that goes. Mm, my white waited too long, so I'm gonna go in with black. Okay. And like she said, I just use my finger, but 
Use a silicone tool. Use a, oh, a little well, uh, applicator. But I, I like to feel it. It's I think, tactile, Tammy, I think. you can see now it's a silvery chrome. Like it has a mirror finish it over that of, black. You yeah, can really see it. It's definitely like more punchy over black. Yeah, that's cool. It's going to have that darker background, whereas this is more the Hailey Bieber background. But mm -hmm. that's like, this is like gunmetal mirror. Ooh. Yep. yep. If you look close, you can see your own reflection in hi. the camera. Hi, everybody. Say How's hi to yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Amazing. Um, Erica asked, is give me strength your preferred base over chrome? Give Me Strength is, it's a multi-purpose gel. I wouldn't say that it is my preferred, um, but I, I mean, I don't mind it. It was the thing that is closest. Uh, I would also use Get a Grip over it um, or Shine Bright. I would use either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a clear gel mm -hmm. over the top of the chrome is what you want. Yeah, as long as you have something to kind of hold it, give it a little bit of strength. Yep. And then you drop it. Okay. So really quickly, I just wanted to chrome over one more color. Um, this is Louisiana. The so fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous Louisiana. And I'm putting on a layer of Top It Off. Letting that settle for a few seconds. And then we will go into the lamp for a full 60 seconds. And then we will chrome it. But isn't Louisiana... She's oh, so pretty. I mean, just that. She's just so hot, good and punchy. Hot coral red. Yep. That's just my fave. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Into the lamp she goes for a full 60 seconds. And this is what it looks like over white. Just kind of that like pearly, looks literally like a pearl. And then again, over the nude. Nude. Mm -hmm. And then over black. And you over get that black. like silver gunmetal y. So good. Okay, so to recap all of the rules, you want to make sure that your base layer, so for instance, like um, the nudie or the black or the white or my Louisiana, you want to make sure that those are nice and smooth. Then you go in with a layer of Top It Off mm -hmm. and you let that settle and just make sure everything is nice and clear how you want it. Give that a full 60 second cure. Then as soon as that comes out, Use your chroming tool, and we want to use less pressure, so you're going to put your hand at the top, and you're just going to apply that. If you apply it with your finger, you're just going to rub ever so softly mm -hmm. to rub that chrome in. And then brush off the excess. Then you'll go in with um, your give me strength. Uh, or your... Well, you're going to file that free edge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And gently remove any dust. Okay, that's cute over that. That's pretty. And then you'll go in with a layer of Give Me Strength or Get a Grip or even Shine Bright to seal in the chrome mm -hmm. and then finish off with a final layer of Top It Off. And your chrome will last. You'll have no issues. That's so pretty. Wow, that is so absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Yep. It's like a... <laughs> I always just have to giggle. Even last week while I was playing with it, I was literally like, oh, I can see myself. Oh, hey, yeah. hey. It's just so funny. Okay. Then we go in. I don't know where the nail file went. Oh, there it is. Then you go in and you gently buff that free edge. Don't forget this step. You'll remember every other step except this one, but this is the one that really matters. So make sure you buff that free edge. Then you'll go in with a layer of clear gel that doesn't have a fuzzy coming off the very end of it. Ooh, that's a good one. That was satisfying. That was a good one. That was like mm -hmm. a whole hair. Thank you. Okay. And remember, we don't want to drag through this. We want to kind of gently float our clear gel over top. Make sure that you cap that free edge. We'll give this a full 60 second here. And then you would go in with a layer of top it off and your chrome will be satisfied. All right, so I'm going to give this cure, and we are going to clear the decks and move on to our next thing. Yeah, which is our good buddy Starshine. 
so pretty. Look how pretty she is. This is just the sister of Moonlight, which is instead of a chrome, we just get this kind of like ink shattered glass looking flake. Yeah. So very excited for this. Um, I'm going to put it over our good buddy Jazzy Joe. So I just want to see what this will look like. Because it's not all like solid silver. You get a little bit of like a iridescent to it. Some pieces are like a little more sheer. Kind of depends on what you pick up. But it's it so very cute. shiny. So pretty. Um, and I'm just going to use my applicator brush, just my glitter applicator. Um, and very gently because you have to be, <laughs> you have to be careful with these kind of flakes because they can smell fear and uh, they will go everywhere if you breathe or look in their general direction. I'm trying so hard not to laugh because I don't want to breathe on them, yeah, but literally. absolutely. And they can smell fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to tap all over this. I still have my tacky layer and that is what I'm putting this over. It's so pretty. The other day when I was playing with these, I put Starshine over Granny Smith and it almost gave like a jewel outcome. And I just wanted to apply black and make it more turquoisey. Oh, it would have been so cute. That would have been so cute. I could have put some jelly over to make like that. Mm -hmm. like shimmer in mm -hmm. yeah cute. so one of these days when we have time we're gonna have a play and really yep. go to town with starshine i love it and these flakes are fun because you can do what i'm doing which is i'm just kind of burnishing this in so that i can get kind of like that poor man's chrome look and it's gonna take up the full nail but it's not gonna be a chrome it's just a flake it's just such a cool effect, though. I love it. It is a cool effect. I'm trying hard not to breathe in your direction. That's okay. I'm breathing all over it. It's okay, going good. everywhere. But then you can see that blue underneath it. Oh, it's so good. I wish your macro lens worked on the app. I know. Me too. But it's just so pretty. It's just It is like cool. a poor man's chrome. You can see that. Yeah. But then you still get like underneath it, you can still see that blue or whatever color you put underneath it. Mm -hmm. So kind of, or you could do just how I had it before. And uh, let me do another one over just a nude. And this is just all shardy kind of like that. Like, yeah. It's so just pretty. Like, a broken glass mm -hmm. kind of glitter and the flakes are soft and so they lay down really nicely mm -hmm. into that tacky layer yeah whereas um flakes like rosanna are a little bit more stiff mm -hmm. these ones are really soft See, you Ooh, do that is just stunning a, just a kind of a full nude scatter. set with that yeah that'd be Ooh. cute, that'd be cute. Uh, absolutely gorgeous just fun. what color is this that is forget me or not. Oh, you beaut. Yep, mm -hmm. she's a beaut. Do love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um Carolyn asks, Am I wearing a chrome? I I am not. I just have chrome on from doing this. So mm -hmm. it just has kind of picked up on my top coat. All right. And that is our good buddy Starshine. 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 Moonlight. So good. Not moonshine. <laughs> not moonshine. That's what we were calling it originally, but that is not correct. That's it is not moonlight it. and starshine. <laughs> yep. These two fantastic products. So moonlight should be in by the end of this week. Make sure that you sign up for restock notifications and then starshine is available. In the meantime, if you're needing a chrome for the Haley Bieber type trend, you can pick up Bridie. It's going to give you a similar effect. It just doesn't have that a little, mirror. It's a little more like subtle. Yeah. Like that white glazed donut chrome yeah rather than the mirror chrome that you can see yourself in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so moving on from that rachel's going to show us how to use the blooming lovely gel yeah oh come on I'll dust that off i'm sorry did you want that as your background no, it's oh you mean floor. oh that's all right i'll vacuum <laughs> okay um what am i gonna do this over i'm gonna do this over i have what is this baby blossom baby blossom mm-hmm Sarah grabbed it, so I don't remember what I had. Gorgeous color. I'm going to put just a thin layer of this Blooming Lovely over Baby Blossom. Mm 
Right. Then without curing. Yeah, leaving it wet, going in wet. I've got a few different colors. They've been on my palette since we started, so they've kind of spread out a little bit. But I've got some Plain Jane. I've got um, Sea Breeze. That's the kind of gray blue. I've got Jazzy Joe. And then Dan. I would like a little bit dark. of love for Sea Breeze before you move on. Yeah. This gray blue. It's just so pretty. Winner, winner. Especially for this so season good. that we're going in. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sea Breeze yeah. is gorgeous. It truly is. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Jazzy Joe. Dancing in the dark. And then plain more plain Jane. Yeah. Got it. Um, but I'm going to just take a little bit of these on my ombre brush. Um, and while this is wet, we're going to kind of swipe through all of these guys. And the ombre brush really is a multi-purpose tool, isn't it? It really is. And just kind of let it, let it spread, let it do its thing. I'm going to move some of these give it a little bit more movement. The cool thing with this, with these like blooming gels is that you can just take your time, unless you have a thick layer, then you need to just kind of flip it over, let it self level so that it's not running to the sides and adding that extra bulk because we don't love that. But they're just kind of fun, and they just do their own thing. It really does make a marble. And because you're putting it into that clear, it also gives that um, gives encapsulated, like yeah, yeah, encapsulated or dimensional look. Because the white has a, like a, a sheer pearl, not pearl, but a yeah. sheer feel to it. Yeah. Where it does feel like it's in marble. So like a piece just, of marble. Yeah. So those are just cool. These are just so fun. Um, yeah. I'm going to cure this before it runs everywhere. There's lots of tutorials going around using Blooming Lovely. Like one that Hello um, Beautiful Nail Bar did was where she put white and makes snake skin. Oh, you can yeah, clearly so do fun. Um, fun flowers with Blooming Gels. So really have a play with your Blooming Lovely. Blooming Gels are a lot of fun. They're very versatile. Like you can You can do a lot of different kind of nail art effects with them absolutely um, this is just one of one of many but this is kind of my go-to with those kind of blooming gels i just think it's fun just throw a good marble in there absolutely now we are actually missing one of the new pigments sad but true uh we got a lot of thailand but we're missing majorca so usually there would be 16 new colors today we only have 15 what color um, is the other one um, I don't know what color Mallorca is. Oh. I'm not, I did not look it up. I oh. apologize. Okay. But we are going to go through these really quickly and show you the beautiful colors. This is Zanti, which we learned is in Greece. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are all places. And it's a beautiful. Kind of like mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And let's put that really quickly next to Tahiti which is more of a muted yellow. Hopefully mm -hmm. you can see the difference. I know it's kind of showing up very bright on camera. Is it on yours too, that these are brighter um, yeah. on the camera than but they are in person? this one is definitely more of like a butter yellow, yeah. like a little more pastel. Not neon. I, f I feel like it's coming across as very bright. Yeah. No, this is like a buttery color, and this is more like your mustardy color. Yeah. So those are a lot of fun. Then we have the purples. This is Fiji. Uh, ours came without the name on it. I happen to find it, and so that's now ours. But uh, this is Fiji, and then that one is Bora Bora. Ooh, Beautiful. Uh, just like that is uh, Dizzy Lizzie. Gorgeous. And this one is more like, um, like Be Happy. Be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was exactly what I was going to mind. So pretty. And then we have the black and white. Mm -hmm. So the black is Jamaica, and the white is the Maldives. Mm, cute. Fantastic. So if you are somebody who's not interested in having loose pigments like Baby and Cruella, you can now have them in a pressed form, which is going to be a little bit less messy. So this is like Baby and this is like Cruella. Um, and then we've got the oranges. We've got Zanzibar, which is this kind of like a creamsicle-y kind of orange. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. Hawaii, which I is love kind Hawaii. of a hot orange. It's so pretty. These go so well together. I'm going to toss Bali oh, yeah. in there. Uh, oh, yeah. This is more like a kind of like like a, a nude yeah it's like mm -hmm. a sandy sandy peach. slightly pink undertone in there but super pretty cute and then we have the two pinks oh you undo the greens i love the greens so much 
Uh, this deeper one is Thailand. It's so good. And this is just a beautiful kind of a deeper, um, I don't know, like almost emeraldy green. And then this lighter one is uh, St. Lu Lucia. St. Lucia. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's just that light, it's like minty a minty green. Mm -hmm. They're just so pretty. And then we have Ibiza, which I think is, well, Sophie from the UK said Ibiza. Uh, so is that how you say it? it? Mm -hmm. Ibiza, Ibiza. Mm -hmm. And then we have Aruba. So Aruba happens to be this adorable pastel pink. And then Ibiza, Ibiza, whatever you want to say. We're is this, we say Ibiza. Is this stunning, deeper, kind of magenta, not quite fuchsia. It has more pink in it than purple, but it's this beautiful, deeper pink, I'll call it. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And then last up are the blues. We got Seychelles. I love it. Which on camera, that is not the color. So that is definitely coming Ooh. across more blue and it has a lot more green in it. Yeah. So it's more of a, uh, what is that? Santa Monica. Yeah. Like, like Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. And then Bahamas is just the lighter version of that. So, so got those adorable. Light blue, dark blue. Absolutely. So cute. Gorgeous and fun. Um, Tammy asks, will you get a compact? You can put all of these in. Um, we do have a compact. Yes. It just is. Yeah. On that side. So we have um, two of them. Grab maybe open that first before you check it. There's one of them that's okay. One of so them this is there. this is the same compact that you would use for these as the um, compact chromes. Mm -hmm. So you would just fill up your palettes with all of your beauties, these guys, or like I said, the chromes. Mm -hmm. This does come empty, um, and then you buy the chromes individually so that you can pick and choose what it is that you want. Yep. All right. It's like an eyeshadow palette. It is. And how fun is that to pull it out with your clients? Right. Okay. So we have a couple of colors ready to go. Mm -hmm. And the first one, this is South Carolina. And I am going to, well, maybe I want to go purple. No. Okay. I'm going to go orange. <laughs> we are going to fade orange up. So I'm going to start by removing the tacky layer because we're going to be using velvet top. And when we're using velvet top, you want to remove the sticky layer. Otherwise, uh, the rule with gel basically is that the inhibition layers rise as you cure it. Mm -hmm. So if you leave behind the colored inhibition layer, it's going to rise up into the cured velvet top, which could be why you're experiencing streaking. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever had a streaky matte finish, and you're like, what the heck is wrong with it? What That's why. It? That's why because the inhibition layer has risen to the top and mixed in with the mat. So remove your inhibition layer and all will be well. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna cure this velvet top and then we will go in with our pigments. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to do that with this. I've got plain Jane, so I'm gonna do that same thing with this guy. And I am doing it with strawberry lace. So we're going to kind of just get these ready so that we can go in with all of the different colors and show you how fun this can be. Yeah. Then the last one I'm doing, in case we get to it, I'm going to do it over baby blossom. So our velvet top just needs a 60 second cure for a no wipe matte top finish. All right, what colors are you doing? I don't know. I'm gonna start in with Hawaii. So these are brand new. We just barely got them here over to the salon today. So they aren't used. You can see the magpie stamp in it with the magpie birds, adorable. And here we go, beautiful matte finish. It is a no wipe. Isn't South Carolina matte pretty? It's yeah. so pretty. Okay, using our applicator brush. Now, I would suggest always having an so applicator. Yes, please. An applicator brush that is used for pigment. So you can see this one. This one is stained. If I come close, it goes blurry. But it is stained with pigments from over the years. So I would suggest always having a separate one that you can use for pigment. And then one that you can use for um, glitters and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so picking up our pigment. Thank you. 
we are just going to start applying. And this is going to give you an effortless, effortless fade without having to struggle with your blends. Mm -hmm. Now, as you get higher, I'm going to remove some of that and then just kind of pat out this line. And then if I want the bottom darker, make sure that I have all of my pigment there. And then you have two options from here. If you wanted this to be even darker, you would go in with a floating layer of um, velvet top. And then you would go back in. I just got glitter all over that. You would go back in with another layer. Or if you were happy with your blend, then you would go right in with a floating layer of top it off, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, let's do that first. So a floating layer of gel, whatever it is that you choose. If you want to use, give me strength to seal it in. Or if you wanted to use top it off, but I'm going to make sure that I have plenty of gel so that I do not drag through. Um, Eric is asking, does the white seem to go on the same as the baby loose pigment? We are actually going to show that to you in just a moment. We'll do it together. Uh, we, uh, like I said, we just barely got these here. We haven't had a play with them. We're doing them here with you live. Mm -hmm. So, but you can see beautiful oh, fade. So cute. Very, very and it, easy. it like, deepens it up. So it kind of like models that line. Mm -hmm. that's, yep. That's nice. So, um, what I'm going to do is just let this settle. And then I'll give that a full 60 second cure. Again, if you wanted that to be deeper, you would have gone in with a layer, a floating layer. You don't want to drag through the pigment. So a floating layer of velvet top and then cure that. You can put on more pigment and then a floating layer of your top gels. I'm just going to do mine. That's really pretty. Um, hopefully it's not going to cause issues because it's been waiting for a second. I'm just going to do kind of like a three color ombre. Um, with the, the deeper versions of the yellow, green, and blue. So we're going to start at the top with the yellow. And I may have waited too That's long. That's adorable. Because it's not sticking as well as I would like. So if you wait too long with your matte, it tends to not want to stay as well. Fresh out of the oven is the best. Yeah, it is the best for any pigments or chromes. That is really just the rule of thumb. So when we're on a live, if you know, you can understand that we're doing them all at one time. Mm -hmm. That's cute. I love that color. This green one. Mm -hmm. I do like it best. Yeah, it's cute. Ooh, oops. I'm just like gently kind of swirling them together on this seam so I don't have like a solid line. I feel like people who do their makeup are going to have a better time. Yep. Whereas people who don't like me, we might struggle. Because I'm used to blending. Mm -hmm. That's all makeup is, is you just blend for eternity. Blend and blend and blend some more. Because that's essentially what these pigments are. They're just mm -hmm. eyeshadow. Well, actually, no, they're not. No, but like same don't, concept. Same concept, but don't put them on your Please eyes. Please do not put them on your that eyes. That is not what they are. <laughs> uh, just need to clarify real quick. Yeah. Same with the chromes. Those are not eyeshadows. Please do not put them on your eyes. in with the yellow, blend that out. Mm, I still have blue in my brush. Okay, that is a, that is a pretty nice ombre. Ooh, I'd that's say. pretty. Yep. And then you just go in with your... Uh, I feel like pigments things. are forgiving. They are. Yeah, like how you just brush through and it's, it's all good. Yep. It just kind of does the thing. Yep. Okay. And 
and she's just brushing over top. Like I cannot stress that Very enough nice. that if it's dry, it will drag the rest. It of will your drag pigment the pigment through, and then you'll end up having pigment where you don't want pigment to be. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll flip it over. We'll let it level out. Now this time, and then we'll cure it. And I think I might glitter top coat because Ooh. that's cute. That is cute. Okay, this time I'm going to use a different applicator brush because those applicator, that applicator has fresh, deeper, dark pigment. But this is over beautiful strawberry lace. And here is our Maldives, which is the white. And we are just going to gather up pigment on the end of our brush, just like this. And then we are gonna start in. Now this one, my velvet top has really been seething the whole time. So, Fresh out of the oven, fresh out of the lamp is best. You want to do it on this one? Um, no, I'm going to actually show how to do it twice. Like if I had to do a second layer. Oh, okay. So I'm okay with it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off the excess. Now just using the tiny bit that's left, I'm going to blend that line. All right, now I'm going to go in with Velvet Top. And I'm going to do a floaty layer. And nail pops are bigger than um, human nails. So when you're practicing, don't be afraid to go like I just went halfway. And then I'm going to pick up enough to allow me to not drag through my white. Okay. And you can see my white al almost faded to back to pink mm -hmm. and that's because I'm using a velvet top that has totally cooled off and I don't want that so I'm going to do a second layer which you might choose to do a second layer when you're doing this for real on a client and that is okay mm -hmm. ain't no shame in that nope if you wanted it to be darker then that would be fine so I'm going to give this a full 60 second here if you are also doing a full set of baby boomers and you're not fast at it, um, I would recommend doing maybe like one or two nails at a time with the velvet top or else it will cool off faster than you can get to all of them. And you will have issues where like the pigment will stick really, really well to the first couple and then the next few might not as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just- Yeah, just I feel like the same with chrome. Ringer. Like yeah. we, I only do four chrome. Yeah. Then do a four chrome and then do one the I do, thumbs. I do two and two. Two and two. Mm -hmm. So just be mindful about that. But that's why you need to be charging extra for when you're doing baby boomers or when you're doing chromes or things like that. Mm -hmm. Because it just simply takes extra time. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So out comes my matte. And you can see there is a white hue, but I wanted it to be much deeper. So I'm going to go back in with my pigment. And these are really nice. I mean, so much less mess. There isn't, you know, fallout or anything like that. And it's just going on really nicely. Now I'm going to wipe off my excess and start to blend out the line. I do have some left on my brush. You don't want to go in with an empty brush. You just want to go in with less to blend out this line. Go down a little bit. Go down a little. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my shiny, which in this case is going to be a layer of Give Me Strength. And again, you want it to be a floaty layer so as not to disturb that pigment. Hopefully there's not green, yellow, or blue in mm -hmm. there. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Knowing our luck, there will be. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> there's chrome in there. Mm -hmm. It's always funny when we do lives because it's all fresh in the brush bristle, you know. Mm -hmm. We just use the same bottle for everything mm -hmm. while we're here. There we go. And this is going to be a very soft baby boomer. Now, mm -hmm. if you wanted, like, my pink is too 
bright. It's very, very bright. It's much brighter than you would like, have yeah, like using a nude. A nude mm -hmm. Then that white is going to show up. I think that that is also what I'm up against. Mm -hmm. um, my original plan for this was to use either Bora Bora or this. But since you had mentioned using the white, then I went in with the white. So if you were going to do a baby boomer... I would definitely go in with a softer pink to begin with. Yeah. But you can see that there is a fade here. Yeah. So you can 100% get your baby boomers with Maldives. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, All right. Last but not least, I do have this one. This is Baby Blossom. And I just wanted to try out for funsies the two blues because I think that they are stunners. If you didn't know, Sarah's a blue girl. I am a blue girl. So, I just wanted to try them out. Ooh, so pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. For funsies, let's put some Maldives in there since this is a paler color. And you can already see the white is showing up so much better on a paler color mm -hmm. than on that it's deeper just pink. It's so hard to kind of cover all of that pigment mm -hmm. with such a light pigment. Yep. But how cute. Do you want to hollow on your uh, baby boomer? <gasps> yeah. Oh, we can always sell that. If you ended up not loving maybe what you were pra practicing with or mm -hmm. maybe what you put on your clients. Or you just need to like help diffuse a diffuse line. a line 100% mm -hmm. go in with the hollow top coat and it's just going to or just any of the glitz that have that little bit of shine in it yep mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to help to break up that line um it'll kind of refract that light and reflect at you so that you're not focusing on all of these little lines what you between. might see as an imperfection yeah yeah your client will not know the difference, but you no. might see it as an imperfection. So it just kind of like breaks up the light. Yep. Let's focus on those in the back. <laughs> Gorgeous though. I mean, they just blend so effortlessly. Yeah. I'm just having a play. Yeah. That's fun. Lots and lots of fun. So easy, easy ombres. Um, just following those simple rules of floating and choosing colors that where the blend is going to actually work, mm -hmm. you know? So a lighter color for your baby boomer in the background, fading up. Um, or if you chose strawberry lace, then you would go in maybe with Ibiza, Ibiza, whichever you want to say. But this would be super cute, faded up on the bottom. So, so much fun. So many different options that you can have um, using your pigments. Yep. So anyway, that is all of the newbies that were just released. A lot of fun. A lot of different uh, ways to be creative yep. and to give your clients what they're wanting. Yep. All of these products are available here in the Magpie Beauty USA app or at magpiebeautyusa.com. For sure, go on to magpiebeautyusa.com and sign up for the restock notifications of Moonlight. We're hoping to have that by the end of this week. And uh, you'll be able to get your hands on this absolute stunner and the other new piece as well. So, yep. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Until next week. Bye. Bye.